family welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be applying my first list wig this is by no means a tutorial i'm just showing you guys exactly how i will be applying my first wig i see on youtube a lot of girls know how to select their list wig and i think it's time for me to start learning all the things apart from just doing DIYs and natural hair and I'm also into wearing wigs lately because I am on a protective style journey nowadays I wash my hair only once a month and then after that I put my hair in protective style I take it down every two weeks re-moisturize it and put it right back in braids so yes this is the first try you know how the girls they can cut around their ears and then it just looks slick my did not turn out well for me i had to cut about three to four different stocking before i was able to get it somehow okay yes on i think this time we are on like number three stocking so just watch me and see how i install my first list week but at the end it turned out to be really really great really pretty spoiler alert but it wasn't easy getting there <laughs> as you guys can see i'm still trying to see how it goes normally it goes over the ear that's what i saw on youtube they put it over the ear but for some reason when i put mine over the ear to cut it it just didn't feel comfortable it just did not look right but before getting to this part as you guys saw i first use alcohol to just clean around my hairline and then i'm using my got to be glue again something that i saw on youtube if you guys know the right glue to use for this please let me know because i love my edges and i want to keep my edges i don't want to do something that would damage my hairline but i saw that got to be glue is very popular to use to lay your wig down so i just decided to go with it and after that i'm just going to use the blow dryer and then I had to go on camera to cut this because I was afraid before I cut myself. And as you guys can see, I think I put it a little bit too close to my forehead. It's going to look a little bit weird. But anyway, this is the wig I will be using. I got this from Amazon.com. This wig is very, very affordable. But when I tell you this wig is amazing. I have used this hair multiple times. It have little shedding. I also use this to do our 1940, 1960 hairstyle. I got a professional hair status to do it or celebrity hair status to do my hair. And it came out so great. I'll leave a picture at the end of it for you guys to see how it turned out. So this wig is amazing for the price. If you guys are interested, I'll leave the link down in my Amazon store. This video is not sponsored. I saw it on Amazon, I fell in love with it and I am so glad that I bought it because it feels so great and it is very, very, very soft. The texture is just amazing. Now, another trick again I saw on YouTube is for you to use your makeup or concealer or something to just make sure you cover the hairline so it can look natural. So this is what I'm doing. I'm also just going to do it on the wig so that it can look as if to say it's my own scalp <laughs> something closer to my complexion unfortunately this wig was a little bit too big for my hair just a little bit around the ear area so i will have to go in and cut some of it up but for now i'm just trying to see how it looks the hairline looks so natural so this is going to be easy to do and again, I saw that you have to pull about two or three layers of got to be glue here. I'm spilling it all on me as well for it to be able to hold properly. And then you have to go in again with the dryer. Not for it to be too dry, but a little bit sticky like. So that's what I did. I did some of it off camera and now i'm just going to put the wig on i also cut the lace off camera because this looks so easy what these girls can do but mm, this was my first time so it wasn't that so easy for me also to get it to stick onto the glue i wanted to lay it down perfectly so it can just look so natural as if to say 
the hairline is coming from within my skin but to get it to lay down it was a little bit difficult because it was a little bit too big so i have to go and cut that pad out and once i cut that pad out and frame it towards my face it look it looked better but again i got to know that the wig was just too much on my forehead so i'm just going to cut that pad out and then i will take the glue and lay it down after i lay it down it looked good but it was looking a little bit too weird i put it in front too much so this is just how it looks i went back i took it out because it wasn't looking good i wasn't going out looking like that so i went back took it out and redid it but so far this is how it's looking let me know what you think did it look good like this but to me i felt like it was just way too close to my forehead so and also this week is very easy for you to lay it down i use a little bit of mousse but i found a new way for me to lay it down what i've been doing lately i would just condition use conditioner to wash it our s secrets conditioner i will use that i will wash it and then i will just take some of my leave-in conditioner or some of my curl smoothie and then i would just mix it in water let it be running and then i would just spray it onto the hair and let it air dry i notice when i do it like that it just have these soft bouncy really bouncy curls but i didn't know so this time i'm just using mousse to be able to lay the curls down and it's looking okay and then i also try to do baby hair seriously just to bring it in front of my forehead more <laughs> so, but yeah but i lay my baby head down and i parted the other way and i'm adding in more mousse on it and it's looking okay but i wasn't really comfortable with it so after that i just went and tied it down with my scalp for me to see how well it would turn out but at the end, I look at it, I came closer to the mirror, and it was just not good at all. <laughs> I didn't feel comfortable with it. And I think I put too much mousse also, so it just looked like wet. I had like the Jerry Curls wet look. <laughs> but yeah, so I went and laid it down, and then this is how it is looking. But the next day, I took it down and I redid it. And now look at this. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And the next day, I just had to do little work. All I did, I didn't cut the stocking. I just put the stocking back. And then I put the glue around my hairline. And I took my time and just did the hair on it. And I am loving it. I am loving it. Let me know what you think about it. The first way or this, the second way? I love the second way more. And then I will use some of my makeup also to just make it look exactly like my skin color. So this is it, family. I love it. And this is my first this week. If you love this video, please do not forget to give me a like. Leave a comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. I will also leave a short clip of how I use this wig to create a 1940, 50, 60 hairstyle. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long. It to watch your blue eyes fade to gray as you fade away as you fade away yeah i'm about to fade away because every time i wake up i feel like it's monday something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain all of a sudden i don't look at anything the same way gotta build up on my thoughts sitting in an ashtray Sorry that I'm so inconvenient, no.